Imagine a helicopter hovering gracefully in the air. Now picture this. As the helicopter descends, it seems to get trapped in its own turbulent wake, like a fly caught in a spider's web. This, my friends, is the treacherous grip of Vortex Ring State, or VRS for short. In simpler terms, VRS is a dangerous aerodynamic phenomenon that can occur when a helicopter descends too quickly within its own downwash. This downward flow of air, generated by the rotor blades, begins to recirculate around the helicopter, creating a swirling vortex. The helicopter effectively becomes trapped in its own mini tornado of air. This is not a situation any pilot wants to find themselves in. VRS can cause a rapid loss of lift and a dramatic increase in descent rate, potentially leading to a catastrophic accident. Understanding VRS, recognizing the warning signs, and knowing how to escape its clutches is crucial for any helicopter pilot. Let's delve deeper into the science behind this invisible danger and explore why it's essential knowledge for anyone who dares to take to the skies in a rotary wing aircraft. To truly grasp the danger of VRS, we need to understand the delicate dance of air that keeps a helicopter aloft. A helicopter's rotor blades are essentially rotating wings, generating lift by deflecting air downwards. This downward flow of air is known as the induced flow or downwash. In normal flight, this downwash is relatively undisturbed. However, as the helicopter descends vertically or near vertically and the rate of descent increases, the smooth flow of air starts to break down. The air, instead of flowing down and away, begins to recirculate back up around the edges of the rotor disc, creating a swirling vortex. Think of it like draining a bathtub. As the water level drops, a swirling vortex forms around the drain. Similarly, as the helicopter descends within its own downwash, a vortex forms around its rotor system. This vortex disrupts the normal airflow over the rotor blades, reducing their ability to generate lift. The faster the helicopter descends within this vortex ring, the stronger the recirculation and the more severe the loss of lift. This creates a vicious cycle. The helicopter descends faster, the vortex strengthens, lift decreases further and the situation rapidly deteriorates. This is why VRS is such a serious concern for helicopter pilots. VRS is often confused with a similar but distinct phenomenon known as settling with power. While both involve a helicopter descending in its own downwash, there are critical differences between the two. Settling with power occurs when a helicopter descends into its own downwash at a relatively low rate of descent, but with insufficient power to arrest the descent. This typically happens when the helicopter is hovering at a low altitude or attempting to land in calm wind conditions. In settling with power, the airflow is still relatively undisturbed and the helicopter is not fully engulfed in a vortex ring. VRS, on the other hand, involves a much higher rate of descent and a fully developed vortex ring surrounding the rotor system. The airflow is highly turbulent and recirculating, making it much more difficult to escape. Think of settling with power as dipping your toes in a fast-moving stream, while VRS is like being caught in a raging whirlpool. Understanding the difference between these two conditions is vital for pilots. Misidentifying VRS as settling with power can lead to incorrect recovery procedures, potentially worsening the situation. Recognizing the unique characteristics of each phenomenon is key to safe helicopter operations. Section 4. When the sky falls. Historical accidents and VRS. The unforgiving nature of VRS has led to numerous helicopter accidents throughout history. One tragic example is the 1994 crash of an RAF Chinook helicopter in Scotland, which claimed the lives of all 29 people on board. The helicopter was descending through cloud cover when it entered a steep descent and encountered VRS, leading to a catastrophic loss of control. Another notable incident occurred during the filming of the movie The Perfect Storm in 2000. A helicopter carrying a camera crew experienced VRS while attempting to land on a Coast Guard cutter in rough seas. Fortunately, the skilled pilot was able to recover from the situation, narrowly avoiding a disaster. These are just a few examples of the devastating consequences that VRS can have. Analyzing these accidents reveals valuable lessons about the dangers of this aerodynamic phenomenon and the importance of proper training and awareness for helicopter pilots. Section 5. Recognizing the danger signs, how to detect VRS. 
Preventing VRS starts with recognizing the warning signs before it's too late. Pilots are trained to be acutely aware of the conditions that can lead to this dangerous state and to constantly monitor their aircraft's behavior. One of the most obvious signs of VRS is a rapid increase in sink rate even with increased power applied. The helicopter may feel as though it's being pulled down from above despite the pilot's best efforts to arrest the descent. Other telltale signs include high descent rate which is often the first indication of VRS, turbulence and vibrations where the helicopter may shudder and shake as it gets buffeted by its own turbulent wake. Control difficulties with the controls feeling mushy or unresponsive, making it challenging to maneuver the aircraft and altitude loss despite power increase, where even with full power applied, the helicopter continues to descend. Recognizing these warning signs early on is crucial for a successful recovery. Delays in identifying and reacting to VRS can have catastrophic consequences. Section 6. Escaping. The Vortex Recovery Techniques Explained. Escaping the clutches of VRS requires immediate and decisive action. The standard recovery technique involves applying cyclic control to tilt the rotor disc forward and gain forward airspeed. This moves the helicopter out of its own downwash and allows the rotor system to regain clean airflow. However, the standard recovery technique isn't always effective, especially in situations where altitude is limited or there are obstacles in the flight path. This is where the Vichard recovery technique, named after its developer, French helicopter pilot Claude Vichard, comes into play. The Vichard technique involves a counterintuitive maneuver momentarily reducing collective pitch or engine power while simultaneously applying cyclic control to tilt the rotor disc forward. This may seem counterproductive, but it actually helps to break the vortex ring more rapidly and allows for a faster recovery. Both recovery techniques require practice and precise handling to execute successfully. Pilots undergo rigorous training in simulators and real-world scenarios to develop the skills and reflexes needed to escape VRS and avert disaster. Section 7, Miniature Dangers VRS in the Age of Drones. The rise of unmanned aerial vehicles, commonly known as drones, has introduced new challenges and considerations regarding VRS. While larger manned helicopters are more susceptible to VRS due to their size and weight, even small drones can fall victim to this aerodynamic phenomenon. Multi-rotor drones, with their multiple rotors and ability to hover and maneuver in tight spaces, are particularly vulnerable to VRS. Descending rapidly in a confined area, such as between buildings or near obstacles, can create the ideal conditions for VRS to occur. To mitigate the risks of VRS in drones, manufacturers are developing advanced flight controllers and software that can detect the onset of this condition and automatically initiate recovery procedures. Additionally, drone pilots are encouraged to educate themselves about VRS, understand the factors that contribute to it, and practice safe flying habits to minimize the chances of encountering this potentially dangerous phenomenon. As drone technology continues to evolve and their applications expand, addressing the challenges of VRS will become increasingly critical for ensuring the safety and reliability of these versatile aircraft.